Hi, good morning, dear friends. This is Lady Sylvia, and I thought I'd show you um, how I make an Egyptian style bib necklace. This is uh, using net stitch. It is an ancient stitch. It was uh, found in the tombs of the pharaohs. It is also a very popular stitch in the Czech Republic and in Russia. And here I'm making an Egyptian style bib collar. This will wrap around the base of your collar. And it's made with um, Japanese seed beads in golden blue, uh, white pearls, and uh, Czech fire polish. And I'll show you how I do it real quick. Pick up two of these, one blue and two of these guys. And you're going to go back into the first blue color. Pull down. And then I'm going to go back and pick up two gold, one blue, and a pearl. Boy, those are difficult to see where the little hole is. Come on, guys. Let's go. Okay, there. And then two of these. One blue and two gold again. And this time I'm going to go through this blue down here. Then I'm going to pick up three of these guys, the green, I mean the um, gold. Duh, oh boy, I need more coffee. And then a blue check fire polish. So, and picking up one. So now we're going to pull down tight. And we're going through, passing that gold bead passing into the blue and up into the next gold. See? Isn't that cool? And then you're just gonna take two of the, it's a repetitive stitch, so you gotta have some coffee. But it is worthwhile because it is a very beautiful collar when it is finished. Now you're gonna go back up through that blue, the pearl, and up through the blue, pull tight, see, now you've started that, and you just go back again, same, same uh, repetitive, I'm going to go pick up the blue, I like that sort of icy blue color, it's really pretty, it's a dark sapphire. And then I'm going to finish it off by going back up through the first blue bead that I started with. So that, my friends, is how I do it. And uh, this stitch was, um, it is a, it, it, it does come out really beautiful. And um, I think I will gift this to one of my subscribers. And let me know what you think about it. Um, here's a picture of a tomb, a piece that was found in a tomb. And uh, as you can see, it's a similar pattern. And with these collars, the Egyptians didn't wear a lot of clothes. Um, it, it's extremely hot in Africa. And they, they wore necklaces. Uh, even the poorest people wore necklaces. And children wore necklaces. Um, the only people that did not wear a lot of jewelry were the slaves. But the royalty uh, blue was a very powerful color. And so it was pro fe featured prominently, especially in Tutankhamun's tomb. But um, I like it. I mean, I, I sometimes switch it around with different color pearls but, and different color check beads. But I really do like the, ex the way it expands out and it does look beautiful on the neck. So, my friends, um, I will um, be giving one of these away to one of my subscribers. And it takes me about a day to finish one. 
So if I make a couple, I will um, let you know and you guys can uh, see which one of you will get it, okay? So it'll be about 20 inches. It goes around the, the collarbone of your neck. It's absolutely really beautiful, especially for the summer when you're wearing a white blouse or something. Anyway, my dear friends, I just thought I'd show you a little fun short video of how I make these things. It's a lot of work. I hope you guys, and I know most of you, will appreciate the things that I've made. And God bless you. And take care, my friends. You know, I, as always, I, I really appreciate my subscribers. Take care. Bye-bye, honey.